Hello everyone, today we are doing a photo vlog again and my husband has a problem, he is a lens hoarder. I can show you maybe one day to see the collection he has. <laughs> maybe one day I can show you his collection and they're not the expensive ones. Uh, they're usually like old lenses and today he's randomly giving me this one and told me, could you use this one? And I'm like, what? Why is it like it has duct tape on it? And he said, this is used for projector, it's a projector lens. So he had to put duct tape on it because it has light leaks. And I've tried it once today, maybe I've shot maybe two photos with it and it makes me dizzy because it's really bad quality. <laughs> so that's gonna be a bit of a challenge because I'm gonna try and see whether I could make a good photograph using this very old lens. So yeah, let's go. Okay, let's start. Let's just see what he's doing. It doesn't focus already like all the way back there. It's stuck already. I have to go closer. Like this, I suppose it will do. Damn, the book is lit, look. That's super cool, I mean, it's really on focus, except my subject. <laughs> it's really cool, it, it has the... Uh, it has a cool effect already, because it's kind of very soft. It's very, very soft, and I feel like it's already edited. Okay, so we find a much quieter area here in the city. I mean, it is quiet now, but you see those lights at the back? Plus the light bokeh of this is lit, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, sorry, it's a bit drizzled, but let's go, let's do it. Here, could you stand where I asked you to? Go back! <laughs> go back there! <laughs> Three, two, one, supersonic! Now I'm done using with this lens and um, so far it's good. The bokeh is really good and it's very soft. It's, it's kind of strange for me how it looks, but it gives that really nice effect to it. It makes it unique in my opinion. So now I'm going to change to a different lens, which is a Russian lens. It's a 15 mm and I put it in my pocket because it's that small. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, it got stuck. There we go. This is a 50 mm lens, Jupiter 8. And Masman said it's easier to use. So I will see if he's telling the truth. Are you telling the truth? Okay, so let's go find a different place to shoot. Oh my God, it's so small. That is so cute. Yeah. And it's so light, you can just feel the camera itself. Is this even a lens? Is this real? Let me see. Whoa. Okay, so this is the very first time I'm gonna use it. I have never ever used it. Not even tested, not even tried it. This is the very first time. So good luck myself. Let's go. Where's the lens cup? Where did I put the lens? It looks so nice. It's like perfect for street photography. Just look. I feel like it's a nice bag, you know. No? Really, so cute. Look, look how cute it is. 
It makes my camera look very vintage. Very, very nice. And it's very light. And I could technically put it in my shoulder and like don't feel any strain. Because that's how cute it is. I can even maybe have a selfie with it maybe one time after this. You know, like things like that. Like it's very cute. We are now looking for a different location and well, because we've just moved to Liverpool, I mean we've been here for like a few months, but we haven't been going around a lot since it's you know we're not supposed to. And we're just technically going around to find a place to shoot and explore the city a bit, which we haven't done before. Come on, hold my hand. And I'm going to use this lens for that matter. Where are we going? I'm looking for something like a small, small street. Um, oh my God, here, let's go. I want to shoot in this small steamy, steamy thing. Can you see it? Can you see it? No? Yes? That one. Whoever that's showering, stop showering. Uh, no, don't stop showering. <laughs> oh my god, it's super cool. This is like a very shady area. Whoa, look at this. Super awesome. Super cool. Oh, I wish I have props for him. I don't have any props for him. Can you stand in the middle, baby? <laughs> what? Oh, he loves it. Look. <laughs> oh my God, I love this lens. Yes. Oh my God, it's super awesome. I just hope it's in focus. While we were shooting, two policemen came to us and advised us not to touch anything here and to be very careful around because they said there are some people here who are using illegal substances and there could be like needles lying around. So I, we just wrap up everything and just go quickly as we can, which we are now going. Let's find another place to shoot, probably the last one and we'll end the video. Today is a whole different experience for me. For the most part, I've just been using... <laughs> I've just been using... <laughs> There's a person just went through, but I'm just gonna continue what I'm saying. I've just been using 85mm. Every time I shoot, I always use that lens. So, the, the thing that I really like right now is I'm able to experience something different and learn new things and probably go out of my comfort zone because shooting on lenses that I already know is my comfort zone. I, I always get stuck in that one and I think I know that I'm already good in doing that one so I guess maybe I should learn to use this kind of lenses and be good at them. So I'm really excited.
So we are now done shooting using two different kinds of vintage lenses today and I'm gonna try and make this into a series on my YouTube channel where I'm going to use old lenses and see what types of photographs I can do with them and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye now!